Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com. News on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. Hello everyone, this is Sam Bowers here. Welcome to episode 888 of the Crypto Corner podcast. Crypto Corner was recently named one of 14 of the best crypto and blockchain podcasts by the site Your Oyster. That's Y-O-R-E, Oyster. You can check out this list along with a write-up about Crypto Corner over at youroyster.com slash blog slash best dash crypto dash podcasts. Now for news today, BitBuy is offering stock trading, Block Quarry has shared some Q2 highlights, and Santo Mining has been contracted to develop a water rights based stablecoin. But just before we jump into the show today, a quick reminder that if you enjoy this podcast, please feel free to share it or leave us a review. And as always, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts on InvestorIdeas.com. This includes the Cannabis Podcast, the Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast, along with many others, all of which will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. All right, so BitBuy Technologies, Inc., a subsidiary of WonderFi Technologies, Inc., which trades on the TSX under the ticker symbol WNDR, has announced a partnership with Alpaca DB, Inc., which will allow the former, BitBuy, to offer its users fractional trading and investing in thousands of U.S. stocks and exchange-traded funds, or ETFs, in an integrated experience within the existing BitBuy platform. Alpaca's broker, API, will be leveraged, giving BitBuy customers real-time fractional trading and instant settlement. Ben Samaru, the CEO of WonderFi, said, quote, Providing seamless access to stock trading makes BitBuy the first platform in Canada to offer a full suite of crypto trading as well as fractional trading of U.S. equities with real-time settlement. This is in furtherance of our goal of making users' lives easier and bringing key asset classes within our easy-to-use regulated platforms. End quote. Moving on, Block Quarry Corp., which trades on the OTC under the ticker BLQC, has reported financial highlights from its second quarter. For the three months ended June 30th this year, the company posted revenues over $1.5 million and an increase in total assets to nearly $11 million. Alonzo Pierce, the president of Block Quarry, commented, quote, We had a fantastic 2021, but we believe 2022 is on pace to significantly raise the bar. Our hosting revenue this year has already surpassed what we produced from that segment for the whole year in 2021. Moreover, due to our market positioning and signed agreements with major partners, 2022 appears set to be our best year ever on both the top and bottom line, with Q3 on pace to show strong growth on both a sequential and year-over-year basis, and we are excited to further bolster our positioning and performance trajectory into year-end. End quote. Lastly for today, Santo Mining Corp., which trades on the OTC under the ticker SANP, has been contracted to develop a cryptocurrency called AGUA, that's A-G-U-A, described as a stable coin tied to water rights. According to the press release, the firm will collect weather telemetry and upload the data of water volume to the blockchain. Then, the AGWA smart contract will automatically burn or mint coins to maintain the stability of price per liter. Santos CEO Frank Iglesias said, quote, We are stoked to be able to create a smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain that is pegged to the water reserve rights. Besides collecting telemetry of water volume, we will be able to collect pH and H2O. This data will be shared with local governmental agencies, as we develop this smart contract, we will be sharing our development with our shareholder community. End quote. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. 
Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss of investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Audible, Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, and most audio platforms available. 